How's it going guys? I'm back here again to do a new movie review and the movie I'm going to be reviewing was sent to me from the director Dakota Bailey and that film is called American Scumbags and essentially what the movie is about is uh, bad people doing bad things is the way of, for, is best way for me to describe it. Uh, the film uh, it's really low budget, it's shot in black and white so you got this sort of grittiness to it and it's filmed in a town that you know the town is meant to look really run down and filled with just you know like homeless people and of course you know a lot of these uh, drug dealers and things like that and the film essentially follows uh, you know just people going about their lives but each of them, you know, has something that they do that uh, you would consider wrong. Um, the film um, opens with a character named Lucifer who actually believes that he has the power of Satan. And, um, you know, he's got a, a tattoo underneath one eye that says Satan and another tattoo of a, uh, an upside down cross. And he's a drug dealer and he calls, uh, gets a call from this guy named Chester and he owes him a lot of money. And Chester basically says, you know, if you don't get my money, then you're going to get, you know, there's going to be hell to pay. And Lucifer's like, hey, I'm Lucifer, you know, I'll cast you down to hell. Like, he actually believes that he has the uh, power of Satan. So what uh, Chester does is that he ends up calling uh, his friend Johnny, who is played by uh, Dakota Bailey, and basically tells him that if, uh, if Lucifer does not give Chester his money, uh, for Johnny to go and kill him. And the film is, um, you know, it kind of follows those characters. It follows other characters as well. There's other characters that are introduced. Um, there's one character named Billy the Kid, who uh, is essentially this uh, this guy who you can kind of tell him he, he's into. Uh, you know, he has a pickup truck. You know, he's got a big hat and everything like that. And he and he sees himself as this uh, this sort of badass type guy. Um, and he, um, you know, he's kind of pissed that his uh, girlfriend is going out with this other. Uh, this new guy, and you know, there's a scene where he's saying, "Well, she's got a restraining order against me," you know, because she called he because uh, everybody basically communicates through cell phones in this movie. And there's one scene where he calls up someone and he says, "You know, man, I can't get good to her house because, you know, she's got a uh, you know uh, a restraining order against me and stuff like that." There's also another scene where um, you know, he's looking at his cell phone. And he's on Facebook and he says, "Oh, you blocked me." You blocked me from Facebook? Well, I'll just add another account so I can stalk you. You know, so there's, there's different scenes of, of each character sort of explaining what they're doing. Um, there's also one scene where he's trying to go after, um, he's trying to find uh, his uh, girlfriend's new boyfriend, or his ex, his new boyfriend, and he ends up killing uh, the guy's uh, dog by feeding it poison. Um, and, you know, there's just a... Uh, there's also a scene of a prostitute as well, of Billy and, and this prostitute who, uh, you know, she's just introduced and then, you know, after they have sex, you know, he ends up uh, killing her. So there's a lot of characters that are introduced and then, you know, they either, and they either get killed off or you don't follow them around as much as you follow around uh, Lucifer, Chester, and Johnny. Those are the three, I'll, I guess I would call those main characters because their stories continue on throughout most of the film. Uh, there's also... Um, a character named uh, Whelan Deals, who's this um, homeless war veteran, and and you know um, he's uh he just this old man in a wheelchair just going around, um you know drinking alcohol and stuff like that. Everybody's either drinking alcohol or smoking drugs or what have you throughout the entire film. And he runs into this uh, pedophile character who is using binoculars to spy on uh, little kids in a playground. So like I said, the entire film is is about uh, bad people doing bad things, and the and you find out what happens to uh, these characters for doing these bad things. Uh, now, my thoughts on the movie: I enjoyed it. I I like films like this. You know, films that just show um, different types of people like this and what they do like in their lives. Because there are people that are actually like this, that are drug addicts and they do terrible things to other people just to either you know get money or to get drugs or what have you so I enjoy it um this movie is definitely not for everybody if you're a fan of independent films low budget independent movies then I'd recommend checking it out um I will leave a link down below to the trailer for the movie and I'll also leave a link down below to where you can order the film off of Amazon just check the trailer out and if it seems like something you'd be interested in then learn more about the director you know Dakota Bailey learn more about the film itself and if you think it sounds interesting enough, then check it out. Um, this is the first film that I've seen from him, and I did enjoy it. And I do 
Um, I would like to see more. Um, but like I said, you know, this is definitely not a, a film for everybody. Like I said, if you're a fan of low-budget, independent films, then I would say check the movie out. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching my review. Thank you to Dakota for sending me uh, the link to your film. I did enjoy it, man, and I really hope that uh, it gets more exposure. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.